I'll talk a bit about disorders of acid base balance. Now, which are the disorders that are possible? Out of this, a few, I'll be giving a brief uh, introduction and brief uh, thing about these different disorders. So, the first thing that can be there is respiratory acidosis. So, always remember that carbon dioxide is an acid. So, the primary defect will be increased carbon dioxide. So, that will lead to increased PCO2. Remember the calculated value. So, whenever the PCO2 increases, we call it as respiratory acidosis. So, what may be the reason? When does the PCO2 increase? So, the respiratory acidosis, when does the PCO2 increase? So, whenever something is wrong with the respiratory system, when something is wrong with the respiratory system, like Maybe there is some obstruction, maybe there is some emphysema, there is chronic bronchitis, there is respiratory failure, there is pulmonary edema, there is anything and everything. Maybe there is diaphragmatic paralysis, maybe there are certain drugs which have acted in the respiratory system. Whatever has happened is there is hypoventilation. Minute there is hypoventilation, carbon dioxide gets retained within the body. When carbon dioxide gets retained, the PCO2 increases and this is the main thing that is called acidosis. PCO2 remember is causing acidosis. So let us look at the primary defect is increased PCO2. So from 40 PCO2 normally is 40. It may go up to 60. It may go up to 80. Whatever it is, it is retention of carbon dioxide. What may be the causes I told to you. Now the findings in the acute state will be pH will be decreased, PCO2 will be increased and bicarbonate may be nearly normal. Now in compensation something bicarbonate is also going to increase. So compensatory mechanism, what compensates it? The respiratory system, can it come compensate? It cannot because that is what is affected. The respiratory system is affected. So who has to do the compensation? It has to be by the kidneys. So the kidneys are the one who are going to compensate in the respiratory acidosis. It is always done by kidneys. What do the kidneys do? Whenever there is acidosis, they have to excrete protons. How do they excrete protons? Either in the form of sodium dihydrogen phosphate or in the form of ammonium chloride. Why does it do that? Because when it is excreting like that, it can regenerate alkali and thereby contribute to the alkali reserve. More and more alkali will come into the plasma to, to combat with, remember the bicarbonate is over here also, to combat with all this carbonic acid. So that is the reason that uh, the kidney is going to excrete protons. Whatever these protons are there that are formed, it is going to excrete either in the form of ammonium chloride or sodium dihydrogen phosphate. So the urine becomes more acidic in respiratory acidosis and there is increasing regeneration of bicarbonate by glutaminase and carbonic anhydrase. Now let us look at one more condition that is this we saw was because of my acidosis was because of respiratory causes. So what if there is an acidosis because of metabolic causes. So when do we say that metabolic acidosis when the alkali bicarbonate, we always look at LCO. respiratory means you look at carbon dioxide. When it is metabolic, you look at bicarbonate. So, an alkali has to decrease to cause acidosis. So, decreased bicarbonate can lead to metabolic acidosis. Metabolic acidosis. So, this I just to make it more clear, respiratory acidosis increased PCO2 and metabolic acidosis it is always decreased bicarbonate. So what are the causes? When will the bicarbonate decrease? What will be the causes for decrease of the bicarbonate? When the bicarbonate has been used up. So what will be the findings in the acute state? What will be happening to the pH? pH will be decreased. The bicarbonate is decreased. The PCO2 may be normal. What are the causes for metabolic acidosis? Now metabolic acidosis has been classified into high anion gap metabolic acidosis 
and normal anion gap metabolic acidosis. So, for example, there is increased production of lactic acid. If lactic acid is increased, all that lactic acid is going to be buffered. So, it will lead to decreased bicarbonate. Suppose there is increased keto acids. The, again, the keto acids are going to be buffered. The bicarbonate is going to decrease. So, high anion gap is seen in renal failure, diabetic ketoacidosis, lactic acidosis. Normal anion gap is seen in ingestion of acid, loss of bicarbonate, maybe loss from the GIT, diarrhea, pancreatic fistula, Renal tubular acidosis where there is a failure to excrete and all these where there is a failure to excrete acid or reabsorb bicarbonate, then the bicarbonate concentration decreases. What is the compensation? It is done by the respiratory system. If the kidneys are, fun are having a problem, the respiratory system is going to come. There will be hyperventilation and later by the kidneys, if the kidneys are normal by excreting protons in the form of ammonia ions. Metabolic acidosis is usually associated with hyperkalemia because of the exchange that is taking place. Respiratory alkalosis, the primary defect will be decreased PCO2. Decreased PCO2. So, what is, what is the causes? Hyperventilation, like panic attacks, in raised intracranial tensions, brainstem injury. Maybe the is on a ventilator and the ventilator is doing hyperventilation. The findings I have told to you, alkalosis, pH increases. Compensatory mechanism done by the kidneys. Reduction of urinary ammonia formation, increased excretion of bicarbonate. Now we go to one more condition that is metabolic alkalosis. Metabolic alkalosis, bicarbonate has to increase. Bicarbonate has to increase. So primary defect, increased bicarbonate. Findings in acute stage, we always look at bicarbonate. Bicarbonate will be increased and pH will be alkaline. pH will be alkaline. Causes loss of acid. Maybe there is a loss of acid like in severe vomiting, nasogastric drainage, Gain in base, maybe there is a therapeutic administration of large doses of alkali, excess intake of antacid, Cushing syndrome, sodium bicarbonate is reabsorbed from the tubules, hypokalemia can also lead to increased excretion of protons. Compensation is by hypoventilation and increased excretion of bicarbonate by the kidneys and decreased formation of ammonia. With this we come to the end of various disorders of acid base balance and how acid base is being maintained within the body by different mechanism, the buffer, the respiratory and the renal mechanism and the disorders associated with it. Thank you.